think you know how big a plane is, think again. As big as the average plane is, there are actually some that are even bigger than that. There are some so big, you might have to step away from your computer to fit them into your eye's view. These are abnormally large airplanes that actually exist. Number 15. Antonov-225 Marina The plane which surpassed the C-5 galaxy as the largest plane in the world is the Soviet-built Antonov-225 Mirya. Mirya means dream in Ukrainian, and this airplane has remained little more than that in terms of actual military deployment since only one example was ever built. This twin-tailed, six-engined megaplane was designed to give a piggyback ride to the Soviet Union's Buren space plane, and this means that the Mirya is the power lifter of the airplane world, holding the record for the heaviest ever payload at an incredible 418,000 pounds, or 189,000 kilos. The project to build a second Mirya ground to a halt in 1994, after about 60% completion due to a lack of funds, and so the single Mirya from back in 1988 remains the only example, in spite of many attempts to find the funds to build it a sister. It now works as a commercial aircraft, delivering oversized items all over the world, and was even deployed to China during the COVID-19 crisis to pick up supplies. Crowds often gather to see this rare beast landing at their local airports. Will another one of these ever be built? Only time will tell. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Boeing 787 Not even nine years since its introduction, the Boeing 787 has already become an icon of aviation. Also known as Dreamliner, this is a truly enormous passenger plane. Part of Boeing's strategy was to build a slightly slower but much larger and smoother plane to maximize profits four airlines. The biggest Dreamliner, the 787-10, can carry 330 passengers, which is a full 88 more than its next biggest sister. On top of that, it has 41% more room in its cargo hold. Think of all the extra suitcases you could lose flying on one of these babies. On top of all that, the plane is 25% more fuel efficient than its competitors, has a whole range of systems to make the cabin quieter, including muffled air conditioners and sound insulated fuselage, and it requires 30% less maintenance compared to other big jumbo jets, bigger windows, and more legroom for passengers. The whole plane is made from more than 2 million parts, but this is still a huge reduction from the 3 million pieces it took to put together the older 767. That's some puzzle. Its range is also enormous, and Qantas Airlines have begun a 19-hour, 11,000-mile non-stop flight from Sydney, Australia to London, England for the first time, a distance only a Dreamliner could handle. What a plane! Number 13. Airbus A350 if you thought Boeing's biggest competitor were just sitting back and gawping at the amazing Dreamliner, you were wrong. Airbus have been hard at work creating a passenger airplane that's just as impressive, even if they didn't bother to give it a cool name. Airbus claimed the A350 is even quieter and more efficient than the Dreamliner, and it has a longer range, being capable of as much as 8,000 nautical miles. Both planes are monsters in size, but the A350 just tips the scales ahead of the Dreamliner in weight, length, and seat numbers. But where the Airbus really stands out is its cabin, filled with soothing mood lighting and, get this, the walls aren't curved. That's right, it's just like being inside a building 
on good old terra firma, with walls that go straight up and across, reducing the feeling of claustrophobia. But here's something that might make you feel a little less at ease when you see it through the extra-wide cabin window. The wings flap! like a bird. Okay, not exactly like a bird, but the wings are designed to gently flap up and down, depending on various conditions, to improve flight smoothness and make those engines, which are as powerful as 1,000 F1 cars, work as efficiently as possible. The Airbus costs a cool 80 million more than its rival. Which one will we see more of in the skies, do you think? Number 12. Boeing 777. The Boeing 777, or 777 as it's usually known, is a pretty enormous aircraft. In fact, its engines are so big, you could pass the fuselage of a Boeing 737 through one of them. The 777 is one of the most popular wide-body passenger aircraft of all time, and chances are that if you've flown from the US to Europe or Asia in the last 10 years, it was on board one of these. Boeing launched this giant airplane all the way back in 1994, and since then, it has clocked up over 35 million flight hours, which works out at almost 2 billion miles or 13 trips to Saturn and back. The 777 was also the first computer-designed aircraft by Boeing, as well as the first fly-by-wire. But in spite of the computerized controls, Boeing retained the old-style levers for pilots, who were used to mechanical airplanes. The best-selling airliner of all time has also been incredibly safe, with only seven hull losses ever. However, two incidents in 2014, both from Malaysia Airlines, resulted in losses of over 500 people across across both crashes, one mysteriously into the Indian Ocean, while another was taken down by an anti-aircraft missile in Ukraine, in what was a bad year for the 777. Still, the 777 will go down in history as an aviation titan that has served the entire world thousands and thousands of times over. Number 11. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy the C-5 Galaxy is a jet transporter airplane designed by Lockheed back in the 1960s. The development of this giant military plane was an engineering nightmare, and the program's budget became the first in history to overrun by more than $1 billion. In spite of these struggles, the Galaxy made it into service in the U.S. Air Force by 1970, and 52 planes are still in official operation. It is one of the biggest transport planes in the world, with a wingspan of 222 feet, or 67 meters, and it weighs 840,000 pounds, or 378 kilos. The badass Galaxy saw its first service in Vietnam, carrying tanks and helicopters to the battlefield and sometimes carrying civilians away from it, including one notorious incident where a galaxy carrying Vietnamese orphans crashed resulting in the tragic death of 78 children. The U.S. Air Force set Lockheed a challenge. It wanted a plane that could carry all the necessary equipment for an entire U.S. Army division halfway across the planet. This meant being able to carry an M60 battle tank if necessary. And the galaxy, as tall as a seven-story building, is more than capable. Its 5,500-mile range is impressive, but mid-air refueling means it's able to go pretty much anywhere. The galaxy known as the Warehouse with Wings has flown to Antarctica, been involved in numerous wars, launched ICBM missiles, and even been converted to be able to carry the Space Shuttle. This giant is projected to remain part of the U.S. Air Force's operational service planes until at least 2040, by which time its design will be almost 80 years old. It may have been a struggle to get it made, but once they did, they made one of the greatest transport airplanes of all time. Number 10. Straddle Launch Airplane We're kicking things off with an absolute monster of an airplane. This crazy double fuselage design makes this the plane with the widest wingspan of all time. Have a look at this image we found online of a straddle launch plane. This one looks huge. By the looks of it, it seems that they have really added a ton of extra stuff to this one. 
doesn't that look badass? I think so. This huge airplane was designed by Straddle Launch Systems, a company once owned by the late Microsoft founder Paul Allen. It can carry a 550,000 pound payload on those wings, which are wider than a football field, and ran its first test flight out in the Mojave Desert in late 2019. The plane is designed to carry orbital rockets into space for easier launches than traditional blast-off from the Earth. Since the death of Allen, however, the company has scaled back and changed ownership. Will this incredible plane ever enter full service, or will its one and only flight remain its legacy? Only time will tell. But can you imagine heading out to space for a long weekend, set aboard a rocket, attached to this behemoth in a few short years? It might all become a reality. Number 9. Antonov AN-124 the plane that the Mirya was based upon is the Antonov AN-124. Like the Mirya, this plane, known as the Ruslan, is owned by the Antonov Company of the Ukraine and built in Russia. That's to say that it was built. As all production has been cancelled since the beginning of the recent military conflict between Ukraine and Russia. But back when both countries were part of the Soviet Union, the Ruslan was conceived as the world's largest transport plane, seeing its first flight in 1982. Since then, 55 of these monster planes have been built, at a cost of around 80 million apiece. The planes remain in military use in the Russian Air Force, making it the largest military transport plane currently in operation, while many others have been bought by civil aviation all over the world. And the Ruslan has had a busy life, transporting giant concrete pumps to the Fukushima nuclear disaster site in Japan, as well as helping out with the cleanup from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Back in 1987, a Ruslan set a world record flight of 10,881 nautical miles. That's 20,151 kilometers without refueling, a flight which took some 20 hours to complete. I hope the pilots had plenty of coffee for that one. This huge, crazy plane is still much sought after. And if tensions between Russia and the Ukraine is off, we could see many more produced in the years to come. Number 8. Aerospace Lines Super Guppy just one look at this airplane should be enough to tell you this is no ordinary aircraft. That big silver bulbous head, making it look like a flying whale, is it any wonder that prior to its maiden flight in 1962, aircraft controllers insisted on having fire crews, ambulances, and police on site, so sure were they, that it would never make it much off the ground. Back then, the plane was known as the Pregnant Guppy, and the pilot, Jack Conroy, proved his doubters wrong with a textbook takeoff and landing. While it looks like a kind of airship, the Super Guppy has also been nicknamed the Frankenplane, due to it being made from parts taken from a whole variety of other aircraft, taking the now obsolete fuselages of Boeing 377 Stratocruisers, the designers decided to try and build a plane with one mission, to be large enough to transport the massive space rocket parts which were being built in California and then sailed through the Panama Canal all the way up to launch sites on the East Coast, a journey of some 18 days. NASA were nervous about putting their immensely valuable rocket parts in this unstable-looking plane, which seemed to defy aerodynamics. But one flight with Chief Rocket Engineer Werner von Braun aboard and they were sold. The travel time for rocket parts was now a mere 18 hours. Without the guppy, NASA say they would never have been able to put a man on the moon. And the bloated blimp is still in surface today, transporting huge payloads around the world. And while it's not a weight lifted, like some of the other planes here, the volume Frankenplane can take on is unsurpassed. Number 7. Boeing B-52 Stratofortress 
The B-52 Stratofortress is one of the most famous airplanes of all time, and an icon of the U.S. Air Force, which first came into service in 1955. The U.S. Air Force has announced its intention of keeping B-52s in military operation until at least the 2040s, by which time some of the frame of these giant bombers will be almost 90 years old. In fact, in 2010, Lieutenant Daniel Welch became the third generation in his family to fly aboard B-52 airplanes. It's also the only eight-engined jet airplane currently in active service, and has a range of 8,800 miles without refueling, and can carry a hefty 70,000-pound payload. Back in the 1960s, a fleet of nuclear-weapon-armed B-52s were kept airborne 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for eight years, just in case the Soviet Union launched a nuclear attack, giving the U.S. the possibility of an immediate counter-strike. These missions and other aspects of the charismatic plane filtered into popular culture, with a 1970s rock band named the B-52s, and the celebrated comedy film from 1964, Doctor Strange Love, heavily featuring the Stratofortress. That, by the way, is not its only name, sometimes being called Buff, which stands for Big Ugly Fat, uh, Fellow. That's the polite way of saying it anyway. This superstar airplane will leave its mark on history, and with a wingspan wider than the Leaning Tower of Pisa is tall, that's going to be a pretty enormous mark. Number 6. Airbus Beluga Europe's Airbus decided to name its transport plane after a huge white whale that has a monstrous oversized head and body, so you can kind of imagine where they were going with the design for this one. Hey, they even painted the happy beluga whale mouth onto it. Like a whale, this badass plane is just great at swallowing things up whole, such as parts of other planes, space station modules, and all kinds of big and heavy stuff that slide through its huge hinged mouth. In fact, it's the most voluminous airplane in the world. And although it can't compete with some of the planes on this list for payload size, it can stretch those jaws bigger than any other. In spite of carrying these huge loads and weighing in at a fully loaded 133 tons, it can still fly at 0.7 Mach, which is about 560 miles per hour. Pretty damn fast for a whale. Its two engines run off a massive fuel tank, holding more than 15,000 gallons, all of which helps the plane cruise at 35,000 feet. A tough plane to design, it was launched in 1994, and one of its main benefits is just how easy it is to load and unload. In fact, the average unloading time is just 20 minutes, in spite of the truly monstrous size of the cargo within. Number 5. Boeing C-17 Globe Master 3. Now here's another huge military transport plane built by Boeing, the C-17 Globe Master 3. This plane is designed for airlift operations, deployment of paratroopers, and medical transport, meaning it's a useful all-arounder in military combat zones. It's also a serious power lifter, having broken an amazing 22 records for oversized payloads since its first flight back in 1993. And since then, it's also become something of a movie star, showing up in movies like Godzilla, Iron Man, and American Sniper. I'm ready for my close-up now, director. Although production stopped during the 2010s, the C-17 will remain in service in the U.S. Air Force for decades to come, with its main delivering the three Bs, beans, bullets, and band-aids, all over the world, truly living up to its name of Globemaster. Another job the C-17 performs is following the U.S. president around the world, carrying the presidential limousine so the commander-in-chief can always arrive in style. Number 4. Airbus A333-300 
The Airbus A333-300 first flew back in the early 1990s and remained a strong competitor in the wide-body passenger airplane market for many years, fighting it out with the Boeing 767 before finally being superseded by the larger and more efficient A350. Still, the A333 still has an impressive 1,443 airplanes in operation all over the world, with the largest number being run by Turkish Airlines. Lines. These impressive airliners can hold up to 255 passengers in their cabins, and they are powered by two huge Rolls-Royce jet engines. If this plane looks a little familiar, it might be because the basic structure is the basis for the crazy Airbus Beluga we mentioned earlier. Don't worry though, you won't have to fight it out for a window seat with a space station command module on this version. It has an impressive safety record too, although one tragic incident was the 2009 Air France flight from Rio de Janeiro to Paris, which went down with 228 lives. Not a great day for the Airbus, but happily there have been no serious incidents of this scale since. Number 3. Tupolev TU-160 The Tupolev TU-160, also known as Blackjack, is one seriously huge airplane. In fact, it's the world's largest and heaviest supersonic aircraft, and the world's largest combat aircraft. This is one big and terrifying plane. At altitude it can hit Mach 2, that's twice the speed of sound. Powered by four mighty Uznetsov turbofan engines, the most powerful engines ever fitted to a combat plane. The Blackjack is not technically a stealth plane, and yet is able to evade radar due to its special design. In some world-class trolling, Russian pilots flew Blackjacks into US airspace undetected and then told the Americans all about it, causing a major US Air Force investigation into how it could have been possible. This is a combat plane, not a transport plane and yet it can carry an awesome 44,000 pounds, or 20,000 kilos, of weapons. That's a lot of weapons. These can include nukes and ballistic missiles. It's fair to say this is a badass airplane from Russia. Number 2. Milamai 26 we know this isn't an airplane at all, but we couldn't resist including this almighty beast of a helicopter on our list, because it's just huge. It is the largest and most powerful helicopter to have ever gone into production, a process which began back in the 1970s in the Soviet Union, the first flight coming in 1977. This chopper is over 130 feet, or 40 meters long, and can squeeze up to 100 people on board. It entered its first combat arena in 1984, as the Soviets fought the Afghans, and the Mila Mi-26 was used to pick up other damaged helicopters from the field, as well as ferrying combat equipment into action. Not only that, but the iconic chopper can carry tanks, airplanes, and was deployed on rescue missions during the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster. Perhaps the strangest mission it has been on was to pick up the frozen remains of a woolly mammoth, which was taken for research from its ancient icy grave. This is one helicopter with some serious muscle. Number 1. Have Airlander 10 like the Mi-26, this one isn't technically an airplane, but how could we leave out the world's longest aircraft? This British airship harks back to the golden age of the luxury airship travel, but with 21st century technology. It's just been given the green light for production, and the company hoped to revolutionize the way we see air travel. No more getting from A to B in a cramped airliner as quickly as possible. Why not kick back in luxury and enjoy the ride as much as the destination at the end of it? 
Not only does it offer style and comfort, but its environmental credentials are second to none, with its hybrid engines giving vastly reduced noise and fuel consumption compared to dirty, noisy airliners. More testing is needed, and maybe a rethink of the exterior, which has seen it labeled as the flying bum, but this environmentally friendly and luxurious British behemoth could be the future of air travel by the end of the 2020s. Which of these huge air planes would you most like to travel on? Do you think planes will get even bigger in the future? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!